Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers today looking at this McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Skull Ship Brainiacs High Tech Spacecraft. I've seen a few people got these quite a while back, just picked one up here in China uh, recently. This got delivered to us back in UK, not they, and getting around to reviewing it today. Looks pretty cool, uh, obviously some assembly required to put in the, I guess they're space tentacle thingies. And it's got some details underneath, which is nice and wheels and free will. Quite basic, but you can fit figures inside. And I'm planning on using this with probably one of my Skeletrons, and they get released in the one thing scale by them. Um, by uh, by by, is it, is it Skeletron toys? Can't remember what they're called now. Oh, how, how could I forget? Who are doing? The <laughs> I've forgotten all these toy things. How have these been too bad for me or too good for me? Who had done the uh, Wolf Troopers before and and doing the Robo Skull Mark II as well? So I am looking forward to that. This does look pretty cool. Gonna need a repaint, but I love that sort of uh, hexagonal window work there on the plastic. Okay, let me unbox and set it up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. Here it is. What a great little, a uh, little, little vehicle. I really like this. Um, it's got loads of potential. It's a bit niche, perhaps. It's too small for Brainiac's uh, ship and weight and scale, obviously. Uh, but it's got lots of potential for the other figures, not just your Robo Skull Mark II, your Red Shadows and whatnot. Loads of potential here. There is one bad thing, that is these tentacles are just hollow underneath, which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, but I think they are quite easy to take out. So you've got one full side there, take one off. And these tentacles actually move, which is pretty cool. quite like that feature. But I don't know whether I would take them off and use it without. But the problem then is I've got this feature with nothing on it. Because I think that looks pretty cool, just like that. I'd love to have loads of parts, make a big mech of that at the top. That'd look pretty cool, but that's pretty good. But then you've got those things with nothing on. Um, that's really nice. That the face looks great. Again, this hexagonal work on this plastic looks amazing. Underneath, it's got some details. The floor, nothing. The the sticker on the controls is great. The only issue is because that's a, that's pre-stuck on. You have to masking tape over it if you're going to spray paint it. Um, three screws, so not so difficult to take apart. You see that where they go into those little struts. One, two, and three. And the bottom could come out. You could take out the. Uh, looks like you could take out the plastic parts for the windows from that little clip inside there. Though honestly, I'd be scared of that breaking. So you know, I might try it on one side. If it comes out easily, do the other. If it snaps something, you have to glue it in and mask and tape over them and respray. But that is that is ripe for being repainted. That is really really quite nice. It's quite good on the bottom of the uh, little legs. It shows you the number L1, etc. And you've got to go from underneath. So L1, it tells you here L1, L2, etc. And just a push up. So what I'll do is quickly put these on again and I'll come back. So just stay tuned. Okay, so done. It does look nice. Even though those tentacles are hollow underneath. And the issue is because some of them sort of start to curl up like this back one, you can see the hollow. If that was, you know, filled up even just, yeah, that was filled up, that'd be much better. And it's not the sort of thing you want to fill yourself. Quite difficult with the change in angle and the curvature. And if you have to fill it, you want to fill it and just cover it with something, keep it hollow. Uh, to keep them, not keep them. So the only, only feature is really those moving, which does look like it's crawling, which is pretty good. I like that. Let's get an idea of its uh, size and scale. So we go width, uh, widest part to widest part. We're looking at around about... Just that. That's seven and three quarter inches coming on 19 and a half cm. Lengthwise, we're looking at about seven and... Just under seven and a half, around about 19 cm. And then height wise, pretty tall. Mm, just under three and a half inches, about eight and a half cm. 
So how does it work for figures? Well, I'll try a couple of figures to give you an idea. So first up, let me use my one of my Chapmay aliens. This is one of my favourite figures, despite only having five points of articulation. I've got at least seven of these, or seven of these here. I might have some more at home somewhere. And I see them on eBay. If I find them where you can buy more than one as part of a part of a bulk buy, I'd do that. But normally you find one and you've got to pay for the figure, one figure, plus that postage of packaging, which doesn't make, make it worth it. So he's short for a 118 scale, but he looks great. So next to that, he looks great, except that's not really matching his his aesthetic with that skull face, that robot skull face. Inside, got to put his arms up because he's quite short. It's such a great match for him. Really, really good. Let's take him out. Let's take a, a different figure. So I will take a home-built Marauder Red Shadow. He's got a custom Red Shadow head on. This is a female Valkyrie. Still looks pretty good on the scale there. That gun might be getting in the way a little bit. Once he goes inside, oh, just about okay. And it's still pretty good. So this is more like a, not so much a transport ship, less someone sitting down. It's more like the leader, the leader's podium ship for giving his, his, his uh, rallying speeches to get his troops to commit atrocities or whatever. His troops to fight harder. Does look pretty good. Let me do one more. Actually, I said one more, so a few more. This is my, uh, my skull gang, <laughs> which is. Uh, all Fortnite figures except for one DC figure. So how are they gonna look with this? They don't really match because it's a robe. It's a robot skull as opposed to a, a skull skull. But I think it, they look pretty cool with it. You could make it work with the right paint job. Stand up! Come on, you can. Thank you. I think I'll have the DC he's missing his Christmas hat I'm using it on something else I'll have the DC figure I think inside it's also the biggest of the bunch the last okay this is the last one before I get the DC figure out stick you behind there in fact he's the best looking of the bunch to sort of go inside he's massive though Looks pretty good again, but again, it needs to be a skeleton robot face. That's why when the Skeletron figure comes out, that's going to look really, really good. Oh, can't wait for that. Unfortunately, when the Robo Skulls, the Robo Skulls Mark II get released, and the Skeletron figures, I won't get my hands on until next year because I'm back in China now. I'm not back in the UK, and I've got to wait till I go back on holiday again. And they'll be delivered probably October, November time, so... I'm going to be wet late getting out and very late with my review, but never mind. Very cool ship, worth picking up if you can find it at a reasonable price. Loads of potential for, for a wide range of figures, I do like that. And with some paintwork, that'll look really, really good. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. Uh, if not done so already, you can see all the content early, exclusive content from time to time, and prize draws from time to time too, including one happening next month, September 2024. Okay, see you next video soon. Bye-bye.